Can, you can't come to work with me, baby. You gotta go home. She's following me to my truck. She's gonna walk me to my truck today. Thank you, Kitty. Bye-bye, Kitty. You stay there. It's like a half mile to my truck. There's no parking around. Man, daytime. I am working at night so much, so often. It feels almost unnatural for me to be walking around out here during the daytime. I mean, who does that? Why would you want to be out here with a giant fireball thing in the sky behind me? What is that? So, you're just doing your job, right? Bringing stuff up, cashier at Wawa. And you turn your head and you look over and you see this guy out the window and he's doing this. Had her cracking up. <laughs> oh, I always have fun at my job. So, so I said, Ostrifer, why you, why you pull me over? And, uh, I was too drunk to walk because he kept falling or kept falling down. So I drove. You can't fall down if you're driving because you're already sitting. Now, welcome back to another episode of Huge Idiots. So this guy, he's driving around town drunk, right? Calls the cops, tells them, hey, I'm driving around drunk. Come get me. Well, they pinpoint his GPS location on his cell phone and lock his ass up an hour later. Dumbass! Here at uh, Philadelphia's Veteran Memorial, one of the statues here, the soldier. The lighting's not the greatest. Damn, they got all the way down to them bootlaces, though. Just gonna do a couple of these pictures real quick. It's August 1950. Purple Heart. Purple Heart winners. Wounded in battle. Damn, that must have been one hell of a time. These buildings are like so damn big. They don't even look real. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. No. Oh. A oh, freaking song on the radio. Some live band playing. I have no idea who it was. Guys on the on the radio. E O C O. He was a try. I'm like, who the fuck gave him a microphone? No, no. I was hungry. Not no more. See this Texas burger right here. This thing got about an inch thick of of hamburger meat. It was a double cheeseburger. The thing was a monster. You get to keep the food if the people don't uh, accept their deliveries. So, there you go. The thing is stupid big. I can only eat half of it anyway. But, yeah, so, there you go. It's time to wrap this night up. Got about two more hours left. Getting a little scrap load as I go. Hell yeah, people, turn it up. Man, I never get tired of going to this place. Always reminds me of going down the shore when I'm down here, you know? It's all lit up. Wouldn't want to pay the electric bill on this, let me tell you that. Gino Steaks. That's one of our famous spots in Philly. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your maniac is? Huh? You call? We haul. No job too big or small. If I can't truck it, fuck it! What am I looking at? What is it? What? What? Abominable snowman, perhaps? It's... 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 What the fuck is this? I don't know. Well, here you go. Here's some... Yeah, it's a friggin' long day today. Hot, too. 
Look at that pile of friggin' shit. Today must have been throw away your vacuum cleaner and chair and wheelchair day. Because I <laughs> I picked up so much. I usually don't pick up this much crap in one day. Usually like that, a load like that's like a couple days. Freddy, you found me. You walked me to my truck at work today. And now you're walking me home? Huh? Come on, kidders. I'll get you a nice thing of milk, baby. You coming? Come on. She's awesome. You're too freaking cute. Yeah, you. Wanna say hi to everybody? Not you, you big grizzly friggin' Nazgul. Well, yeah, cat, kitten's no bigger than my hand. Anybody want any kittens? I got some. Fresh. You know what sucks, though? I was thinking should save these workouts for the morning because you're tired when you come home and you work out and it like wakes your body up and wakes you up and then you're up for an extra hour or two but then in the morning I might not do them you know because I get up and I'm like oh, I don't feel like doing shit but going to work <laughs>